Hello friends, this video on Air Around Us Part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, when we say us, it is not only the terrestrial animals, it is not only the land animals, even the aquatic animals which live their entire life in water, even they need oxygen. So let me give you the best example of an aquatic animal that is a fish. So a fish also needs oxygen. So how do they get oxygen? Because you might ask, they live in water, so where is oxygen? Now fishes breathe the oxygen that is dissolved in water. So in water also we have oxygen which is dissolved in it. And water anyways contain oxygen. So oxygen is present inside water. So fishes will breathe that oxygen which is dissolved in water. Now since they have to take in oxygen from water, they have specialized organs to do that. So fishes have specialized organs called gills and these gills help them to take in oxygen from water. So you would have observed if, if you have ever seen an aquarium. So inside that you will see that a lot of time when the fishes move and you can see bubbles near their mouth. So what, what are those bubbles? That bubble, those bubbles are nothing but air and the fishes they are trying to you know breathe in oxygen from water and that's where you, you kind of see those bubbles. As I said oxygen is in water. So what is water? Water is H2O. So if you look at its structure it is like two hydrogen which are bound to an oxygen atom. So oxygen is definitely an integral part of water. And do you think that living organisms can survive without water? No. So living organisms again need water for their survival. So in all respects you see that oxygen turns out to be something very very critical for the existence of life. So now this lady is quite surprised to know that oxygen is also present in water. So she is like is oxygen present in water and it, it's like kind of hard for her to believe that it's there in water. So how can we prove this? Yes, we can prove. So what we can do is we can take a vessel, put some water into it and just start heating the water. Now when you heat the water, what would happen? Now as you start heating it, after a couple of minutes the water will start to boil. So that, that, that's the normal thing that happens. Now just before the water starts to boil, you would observe tiny water bubbles on the surface of the vessel. So do you know where, where do you see those bubbles? Now wherever you see bubbles that indicate the presence of air. So when you see these bubbles that actually indicates the presence of air and what is air? Air contains oxygen as well. So this proves that oxygen is present in water. In fact the same bubbles you also see inside the fish aquarium because the, and that, that's where it, it proves that fish has taken oxygen that is dissolved in water. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.